What's going on YouTube? Is your AC not blowing cold air? Let me show you how to fix it, super easy. If you have a 2019 or up F-150 Explorer Expedition, pretty much any late model vehicle is gonna require this type of refrigerant. It's a requirement by the EPA. I'll throw a link in the description down below. It really helps out the channel if you purchase through the link, so check it out. It's actually a lot cheaper than AutoZone. Uh, it's like $54 on Amazon versus I think I spent about 120 at O'Reilly's. So on the 19 Navigator, first you gotta start the vehicle up. Once you fire up the vehicle, turn your AC on high on recirculation mode. All right, let me show you how to hook this thing up. You can't get it wrong really. The uh, the high pressure side does not, the uh, fitting is different size, there's a different size. So this little piece goes right here, super easy. You just press it on there. That's it and it says to lightly tap the trigger so you can see we're low so that's it so all you want to do is shake it up good news is there's a leak so that means that there may not be you know AC compressor bad or whatever so hopefully the stop leak will fix it So you just want to bring that in. Keep, make sure you keep this thing at the 12 o'clock position. Hey, you got the AC on high? Getting closer, this thing was really low. I don't know if I'm happy or sad that it's low. We're almost to the green. You don't need it to go way up into the, uh, way up into the green. Just get it, as soon as it gets in that green area, you are good. There we go. We are in the green. Shit, never have to do it. All right, let that settle. There you go. Disconnect this little collar. You just pull up on it. That's it. Just like that. Put your cap back on. All right, let's see. Significantly better. It was not blowing cold air at all. It was just blowing. Whatever the outside temperature was, that's all we could get it to do. So you can see it was well, super low, easy fix. Guys, this stuff is only like 120 bucks for everything. It's gonna cost you more in a diagnostic fee just to, just to have the mechanic tell you what's wrong with it. So before you take it somewhere, I would at least try this. It's worth a shot. All right, that pretty much does it. If I can do this with one leg, I'm sure you can too.